Okay, so this is a typical lunch. And that's some yogurt. It says flavoured, but it is definitely just plain. I'm just going to put that straight into my fridge. Here at least the food is hot and it does come on time. I have actually nibbled at some of these meals. If hotel isolation in Shanghai, then you'll know that I didn't even get food. This is not terrible, but honestly, I'm going to pick at that green stuff and that's probably it. <laughs> but just to give you an idea, it's better than the other place, but it's not great not great. Bring a lot of other food. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lilico. Well this is my second isolation. I really haven't filmed much since I've been here. I've basically been working. Today is the weekend so I'm actually just editing a video for you guys to watch and I've just got my temperature taken. That happens twice a day. Here it's sort of a bit later. It's like in the morning and I'm pretty much always in my pyjamas and then in like four o'clock-ish. Oh, it's a little bit after four now. I've already done my 14 days isolation in Shanghai. If you haven't seen that video, then please, actually I've got a lot of those videos, please check them out. I was much more motivated back then. Now this is the plus seven now that I've arrived in Wuhan. Even though this room is a lot nicer, I don't like it. This is more traditionally a hotel that's been transformed like what you would see in New Zealand. But the sink doesn't work. There's a lot of pros, but there's also a lot of cons. One definitely is the temperature. They definitely get into bed a lot. <laughs> that's also why I haven't really filmed because I sort of dodge between here on the sofa to back in bed. <laughs> Okay, just don't even make the bed here because I'm definitely going to get back into it. I really haven't used the other bed. I sort of, it's got a dent on it because I've thrown my laptop a few times. Also here, there's no delivery, so that's really sad. And today I actually needed some more water. They gave me a big, like a brick of these when I first arrived. And I've drunk through that, so I was like, I need some more water. And they're like, oh, it's two RMB each. I'm like, okay, like, I literally just called on the receipt on the hotel phone there to reception and eventually somehow we managed to be able to speak with each other and I'm like okay well I need five of them please and they're like oh and then hours later still didn't have them so I had to call again to be like I need water <laughs> and yes they did drop off five more of these so unlike the other hotel where they at least gave you like a five liter bottle this is a bit crummy. So I'm sort of picking at it. I literally have four yogurts in my fridge right now because for some reason we get the same yogurt for breakfast and lunch. I don't need more than one yogurt a day. I really don't and I'm so over a boiled egg at this point. It's ridiculous but I'm trying to sort of pick at like the little bits that I will eat before I go to my food so I haven't been having as many shakes and I have eaten more nibbles of mine which is not great um, but at the same time I'm like well this is actually what I bought it for. One good thing is here there isn't the restriction on when you can put rubbish out it seems to be sort of whenever so that's nice. I have had a cockroach in here which I have killed so that's definitely a con and yeah definitely the heating definitely not being able to order from outside has been tougher than I thought it would be but I think that's because I had it before like whereas you'd really want it the other way around to be like it gets better as you go along so and as I say I mean charging two RMB I don't I can't remember at this very moment if that's just the standard price of these probably is but I'm like really and when I first arrived my toilet wouldn't flush that was hard to get fixed. It was very difficult to get fixed. If it is the plus seven, then it will mean that I'm leaving soon, which then will be my third move in four weeks. So here I've not been as good and as tidy as I have been in the other place. I'm just kind of like, ugh. Fingers crossed that the next place is better. But yeah, for a nicer space, I'm actually really, really miss the other one. I know this is on a different day, but I know I hadn't talked about the price. So I got my little bill today. It arrived with my lunch. 
lovely. So it really almost shows how much cheaper the one in Shanghai was. So for seven days, this is $3,280 RMB. I did get 10 RMBs worth of water that I ordered yesterday because I was completely out of water and now I feel like I'm monitoring my water intake and not drinking as much as I usually would because I'm like I'm too cheap to pay for more plus it takes hours to get here plus now they've made this little bill uh, for some reason the the test the nucleic acid testing cost is separate that's 120 RMB so yeah for seven days wasn't the one in Shanghai for 14 days only 4,000 so this is much more expensive and I get it in terms of how it looks fine but in terms of livability mm -mm. this seven days has been quite hard purely because of the room has not been great <laughs> and they yeah just haven't been as good as the other place unfortunately all right so tomorrow moving on to the next I think it's seven days or it could be 21 days it could be 21 days and again all of these places you have no control over where you end up so you know some people would be fine spending more do you know what normally I would have been fine saying yeah give me the most expensive one because I don't think it's that expensive like these costs really like if you think about a normal hotel and then this is also doing testing and all of the other food is involved and everything so it's not much really and yeah if you get a nicer room but I must say with this nicer room it's had significant drawbacks in terms of being in it every day whereas the other one just yeah it was just much more comfortable so it's hit and miss, really hit and miss.